Welcome back. In this top 5 list I'll be going over the top 5 worst killer perks in Dead by Daylight. I'll be ranking them on solo strength. For a perk to be bad it has to have an extremely weak effect or downright hurt you. I'll also go over how I'd fix them. Let's go. At number 5 we have a hex perk, and that is hex blood favor. Not a bad concept but horribly executed. For starters it's a hex perk meaning it can literally be removed within 20 seconds of the match. Next is its effect. Holy shit is it bad. Hitting a survivor with a basic attack blocks pallets in a 12 meter radius for 16 seconds. Problems with this perk rise, when you realize survivors will simply run when hit meaning any blocked pallets won't be used either way. If anything this perk, hurts you as it prevents shit survivors from wasting pallets after being hit. The only use is, when you down a survivor at a pallet and that is only if the hex is even up and no one is around. To fix blood favor I would remove the hex aspect of it, and increase the range from 12 meters to 24 meters and the block time to 24 seconds. I would then give it a 60 second cooldown upon activation. This actually forces the survivors to play extremely well around windows, if you have it, and will genuinely help weaker killers like Trapper get some downs. Combined with Bamboozle you can completely seal off an area. At number 4 is Zenshin Tactics. This perk is only slightly useful on killers, like Trapper or Hag to maximize trap setting effectiveness. Even then it isn't worth a perk slot. It's not even good for new players for two reasons 1 it's an only teachable which means no new player will even have the perk. And 2 the effect doesn't help you in any way. To make it stronger I would rework it. After breaking 2 pallets the killer can destroy an undropped pallet. This fits with the theme of studying the opponent's resources, and makes it a genuinely good perk that can seriously help against survivors who refuse to drop god pallets. At number 3 is Beast of Prey. You gain the undetectable status when reaching Bloodlust 1. Essentially you lose your red stain, but it's pretty shit. You shouldn't actively be getting to Bloodlust in a chase so this promotes a bad playstyle which negatively affects the killer. I'd rework it so, after entering chase you gain the undetectable status for 20 seconds. It has a cooldown of 20 seconds to prevent infinite undetectable. The second worst perk is Insidious. It sucks so bad, and is super unhealthy for the game. It's used exclusively by Camping Bubbas. I'd rework it, so you gain the undetectable status for 15 seconds, after hooking a survivor. This can be amazing with barbecue for some funny generator grabs. And the worst perk is Monstrous Shrine. It's basically useless, and promotes the same unhealthy playstyle as Insidious. I'd rework it. So it spawns more hooks on the map and survivors reach the struggle phase 20% faster. That's all I have. Do you agree? Tell me in the comments. Thanks for watching.